Hi there, Mark here again. Got Rob on the camera. Hi, yeah. And today I want to talk about uh, my new Tamiya. Um, I feel really lucky that I've managed to get this because we've been having a bit of trouble in these COVID related times, haven't we, Rob? We ain't half, mate. We ain't half. So, you know, there's a big problem getting Tamiya kits and Tamiya parts. I think uh, one of the problems is that there's uh, a factory in the Philippines and that's been shut down. I think it starts up again now, but it's not at full capacity and this stuff isn't basically coming out of the factory and then you've got problems worldwide with shipping and deliveries. Um, so these things are rare in the shops. You probably, uh, I know you've had it, the same problem, Rob. Yeah, um, I've been rare as hen's teeth, mate, rare as hen's teeth. They are, that's what, one of the words I would do, use to describe it. So what we've been doing is uh, checking our favourite model sites, websites, um, regularly. Every see, day, mate, every what day. is available. And um, I got this one from Time Tunnel Models. Um, I've been clicking on every day and all of a sudden this one appeared and I thought after Rob's experience um, I better get one pretty quick yeah. um, because you bought a new car haven't you recently Rob? Oh, I certainly have sir. And he phoned me up and said oh, there's got some stock in it Time Tunnel get on there so I went on it and straight away the model that Rob had got had gone. So <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, Time Tunnel if you can see the model on display He's got it in stock. That's if you right, can't yeah. see it, it's gone. That's it. If it's on the web page, it's available. Um, and like Rob said, it was there. When I clicked on it, it was gone. So getting there quick, I think that's the only way to do it. I think this situation is probably going to last now um, till the new year. Um, yeah, I think people so. Other saying also that um, things will get better and there'll be more stocking in uh, August. Well, that hasn't really happened and the dates keep going back and back. So yeah, get what you can and spares is the same thing. Um, so this is the one I've ended up with. Um, I clicked on this one because it's a Subaru Impreza 99 and I've already got a Subaru, as you can see there. That's the Mexico 2004. But this one's a bit special for me because um, this is the livery for uh, Richard Burns and his co-driver, Robert Reed. That's the um, fella. They're number five. And this is uh, the car that Richard Burns started his WRC uh, campaign in 1999, in which he finished second. And uh, the year after that, he also finished second. And in 2001, he managed to become the very first uh, English World Rally Champion. And I don't think there's been another one since. I think there's been a British, I think Colin McRae, who's yeah. Scottish, but not an English driver since then. So. Um, yeah, that's kind of special for me. He's uh, one of my favourite drivers. Uh, he's a lovely guy. Uh, uh, Was. A bit of a sad tale, isn't it? Cause, uh, Just a bit, sir. I think he would have won a lot more races and a lot oh, more championships. God, yeah, I reckon uh, so. Fantastic, smooth driver. Um, but uh, sadly, he got a brain tumour and died in uh, 1995. So that's quite sad, but something to remember him by. It's a, a beautiful looking car. I do like these Subarus. And. Um, I suppose we should uh, get the box open and unbox it after all this chatting, Rob. I think so, mate. So let's have a look what's inside. Okay. Let's see if we can get the, uh, the lid off. Uh, just quickly, another reason that I went for this one is because, as you can see on the picture there, this is a TTO2 that has rally block tyres because a lot of the other um, rally bodied TTO2s don't actually come with the rally tyres, do they? Don't do they? Really? No. I don't know why that is, it seems strange. Um, yeah. I would have got this instead of possibly the Lancia if it had been available then, but uh, it wasn't. So yeah, that's a good reason to go for it. Also, luckily it comes with the torque tune motor. I don't think that was actually advertised on the site that you've got the torque tuned, which is another little bonus since you can't get any spares. I've not yeah. seen those for sale for ages or the uh, sport tune. So yeah, there's another reason to go for it. So let's get these out. There's the tub and the bumper. Quick look at that, uh, it's a lovely body, isn't it? It is. Um, let's put that down. I'll tell you what, guys, what we'll do is use the magic of video again and we'll get all this stuff out the bags and we'll have a quick whiz through the parts. Okay, so there it is, all laid out as if by magic. And um, we've just had a quick look in here, haven't we, Robin? Some, uh, yep. some strange or interesting notes here. So there's your basic generic manual, which is the one that's standard across uh, all the TTO2s. Um, the road going chassis and uh, in here it shows that there are options for the wheelbase 
257, 251. You've got the height, it doesn't say how much difference, but you can um, raise the uh, suspension or the ground clearance, which obviously we will be doing for this rally car. And then you've got the wide track, which uh, isn't applicable to this kit. So, as we go through, it does say when you fit in the front suspension parts and the rear suspension parts, you can go to the high setting, which is page 18, and it gives you the instructions for changing that for a higher ride height. So that's the one difference that we need. The other one is, it shows TTO chassis rally car options. So again, there's, we've got different settings because this is the rally car. Again, one of the reasons I went for this kit uh, over like the TTO one version or the non rally versions yeah. <laughs> with a rally body on, um, it comes with a 19 to pinion. So it's just showing you how to how to fix that to the motor plate with the 19 tooth and anti-wear grease and then you've got the fitment of the rally block tyres I don't know why this bit's here about the it says it's attaching steering servo and then it's showing the motor cover so I don't okay. really get that um, nope. and I would have thought that's the same for both kits yep. but <laughs> step 30, 11 and 12 are different um, but before we look at that on top of that we've just taken the stuff out of the bags yeah, great, we get a torque tune motor. And then we've got another little bonus, which is this little beauty. <laughs> this is a 17 tooth uh, steel pinion. Um, let me see, hang on, rub. Yeah, yep. this is magnetized, so you can see it definitely is steel. And also in parts bag A, there yeah, I can't do it through the paper, but there's uh, a 19 tooth steel pinion. Right, so you get the option of the 17 with the torque and it says in the, this little instruction note here, this contains 17 and 19 pinions. When using the kit included torque tuned, always use the 17, not the 19, not the 19. Well, I think I will use the 19 and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Because that not? should run a bit faster, shouldn't it, Rob? But that's a nice little addition. I mean, these are yeah. probably worth four or five quid. So, yeah. And then the fact that it's steel, um, might come in spare for another kit yeah. anyway so I won't be throwing either of those away okay so that's great there's your, your options anyway for the rally version of the TTO2 chassis so a quick look now we've got the um, the body instructions obviously these are separate depending on what body you get so obviously how to cut it out what paint to use and so on and how to apply the stickers decals and the add-on wing and mirrors and Good. thank goodness Time to all had PS16 we had in stock, so I've got this come with it, which I think I'm quite lucky to get that because paint's hard to come by as well. So there you go, we've had a quick look at the beautiful body there. You've got a nice blue spoiler, which uh, it kind of looks metallic actually, Rob, already. I was wondering if it was uh, metallic. We'll have to see how that looks yeah. against the standard paint because it might be worth not painting that, to yeah. be honest with you, because uh, it only scratches and chips anyway. Yeah. But even though that would be a better under colour, wouldn't it? If yeah. you do spray it with um, another blue and it gets chipped, so that's cool. Okay, standard parts now we've got here. Motor mounts, and that's the pinion and spur cover, isn't it? Yeah. And the battery holder. Yeah. Won't be using any other bits, I don't think. No. We've got a lovely sticker pack there, as I say number five for Burns and you've got the Burns and Robert Reed uh, name is on the windows we've got the bright really bright yeah. uh, yellow Subaru yellow. decals yeah and thankfully for this one uh, it comes with window masks whereas my 2004 version uh, came with black window stickers so I'm really pleased about yeah. that excellent this is all uh, I'm all quite pleased about this kit Rob it's, yeah. uh, it's looking pretty good Okay, everyone knows the amazing strong bathtub yes. chassis. Again, I might be filling this webbing in with a bit of hot glue or something so the stones get don't yeah. get stuck I in it. I think I would with that body. I think I will because the stones will flick off, won't they? Yeah. Off, off the off the uh, rally block tyres. And yeah, the, the uh, major thing we talked about before the TTO2 that the suspension mounts aren't directly onto the the tub itself. They're separate bolt-on mounts, so all good there. As Got to the very soft plastics, which are like the uh, the body posts, yeah. the bumpers, uh, some of the suspension mounts. So these 
won't be breaking, will they? Because they're made of the softer no, plastic. They will definitely bend before yeah. they break, mate. And oh dear. Oh dear. We've got these. They're called shocks, and it says on the box that. Friction dampers. Well, actually, it doesn't say that on the box. Hang on, Does it not? I'll tell you what it says. You, you're right. It says, can you see that? The four wheel independent double wishbone suspension features friction dampers and uses identical left and right suspension. There is no friction in these dampers, is what Absolutely I none. So. What I, be doing, what I should be doing, you won't believe this guys, I found these in my spares box. I think they might have been off a Mini, the M01 I think from years ago. But these are actually the old style friction shocks. Proper friction dampers. So inside here there's, um, I think there's a, a head to this screw yeah. and it goes inside a rubber tube. And you, you can feel some damping in there. I'm going to put some uh, anti-air grease in and I might get a bit of friction from those. So yeah. those will go on. And would you believe, <laughs> I think these old things are off the front of a TTO2B, the buggy. And I've looked on one of my other cars and I think I can adapt these to work. And they are all dampers, so they will probably go on the back. Uh, give me a bit more ride height. But I'll have a play with that when I build it. Hopefully I'll watch the build video and see what I come up with. So yeah, that's those parts. We've got again two identical sets here, which are the damper stays or mounts. Uh, you've got the suspension mounts, I think. Yep. And that's the uh, rear upright, is it, Rob? Front steering. Uh, front, oh yeah, it's the front one, isn't it? Sea hub or yeah. whatever they call it. And we've got these fake um, disc brakes, which are cool. I should yeah. be painting those silver. So yeah, that's those, and that's the. these are the Harder plastics, aren't they? They are, yeah. In the top of the uh, diff case there. Okay, moving on. More of these very soft plastics. So these are the drive cups for the prop shaft, for the wheels and for the uh, dog bones. And there's two dog bones there. Uh, same again. We've got four very nice wheels. Although they're not as gold as I would have liked, really. I think they're yeah. a bit more, they're a bit dull, really. Yeah. Might do with a bit of gold paint on there, Rob. The trouble is with a rally car, they'll probably chip, won't yeah. they? Yeah. Okay, so there's those. And as I said, one of the reasons I went for a lovely set of rally blocks. So these are about £15 a pair, aren't they, mate? So Something like that. That would have cost me 30 quid if I'd have got one yeah. um, with the road tyres. So, phew, yeah, quid's in this one. Uh, as I say, um, PS16 Blue. Right, we're nearly there now, aren't we, Rob? We've done the oh, tune tune motor. Yep. Oh, lovely. Yay, plastic bushes. Bushies, hang on a minute, where's the bin? Gone, yeah, that's yep. that gone. Um, where's my little tub? There it is. So I got these, I think they were nine pound, 10 pound, um, with the kit from Time Tunnel. Um, one of the options, I always tick yep. that option. So that's that. Parts bag A, we've got a motor mount, we've got a nice bit of uh, AW grease, which, it doesn't say, I don't think, um, in the instructions, but I think I'll be putting that in the diffs, uh, as well as on the motor plate. Because that's, the right. Cause that, that's um, quite expensive, isn't it, anyway, Rob? It is. Oh, it's for us in the UK, mate. Yeah. Standard grease. Uh, you've got some your various screws in there. Parts bag B. We've got the springs. They're very short, aren't they? Um, <laughs> yeah. And more nuts and bolts screws. We've got standard black servo saver, which... Mm, these kind of mm. snap, I think, the black ones. Yeah. Might have to get a, a torque. Well, is it a high torque? High torque, that's the word, yeah. Might have to get a high torque. Yeah, if we one. can. If we can get the bits, yeah. Um, our clips. And then finally, we've got parts bag C. Again, just a few ties. Uh, you've got the. Um, those are the wheel stud pins, aren't they? Yeah. And various nuts and bolts. I think the wheel nuts are in there. Yep. And these are the diff cases. We've got the bevel gears, we've got um, spur gear, which is, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's a 70 tooth yeah. spur. And spur. then you've got the uh, bevel gears and the small planetary gears uh, for the differentials. And that's your lot, guys. So there we have it. Hopefully, um, I'm going to do a rather quick build, I've decided on this. I'm going to throw it together because if you want to see a more detailed build, I've got the TTO2D, which is quite similar so I'm going to focus yeah, on what similar, I, yeah it? I'm going to focus on the build of this of what I do to it to make it more of a rally car as best I can with what we've got available to us so I hope you join me for that um, thanks very much for following along and we'll see you next time cheers bye bye, bye.